Welcome to this PSN30 Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutfit.com. We're covering all the features and tools in Photoshop in about 30 seconds. It's usually more like three or four minutes though. Today we're going to talk about the smudge tool. That's where we are. We're up to the smudge tool in Photoshop. The smudge tool works like this. You select the layer that you want to paint on and you begin painting and it smudges all of the pixels together as though you're looking at like a wet photograph or a wet painting and you just take your finger and smudgy, 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 boom, you get that effect. There's a lot more you can do with it though than that. For instance, you can reduce the strength of your smudge and then you get a little bit more of that smudgy effect. Or you can work a little bit more non-destructively by ticking on sample all layers. I'm going to turn strength uh, back up to about 100. You can create a new layer and you can smudge on a new layer. Now I should add, when you're smudging on a new layer, uh, it's much more CPU intensive than when you're just smudging directly on an image layer. So just keep that in mind. Now, what are some of the cool things you can do with this tool? Well, there, there also is finger painting. This isn't really cool, but let's just say we set the foreground color to like uh, green, right? Just a bright green, and we begin painting with that. It's going to mix in just a very little bit of green when you initially start smudging. Um, so there's that. That's something you can kind of do with it. I'm going to shut off finger painting. Um, I'm going to leave sample all layers on. We're going to set the blend mode to lighten. It's just going to give us like a little bit a little bit of a, uh, a lightning effect. Attack more of the brighter pixels here. We're going to reduce the strength to about 35%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the bridge and just kind of give it a little bit of like a, a, a drawn, you know, I don't know, squiggled back and forth sort of, sort of smudged effect. Um, and then we're going to uh, sort of blend this together. I'm going to show you kind of a neat trick here. Just kind of smudge the bridge right all through there, and then the town on the other side of the bridge, just like that. So you can see, we just kind of have this, this little effect. It's all up on its own layer. Well, now, what if we go ahead and set this layer to the blend mode of screen so we just preserve the bright stuff? Well, it doesn't just preserve the bright stuff. You can see it gives me all this other craziness going on as well. So check this out. We can go layer... Uh, layer style blending options and hopefully this works. I probably should have demoed it But what we can do is we can hold down our alter option key and split this uh, Little handle here and this is going to blend away some of the darker pixels of this layer So alter option and then split that away. There's still a bit of brightness So let's just try dragging the whole shebang over there we go and then grab this handle and blend a little bit more There we go something kind of Probably something kind of like that is pretty close. Hit OK. We can shut it off, turn it back on. And you can see we just kind of have this crazy, I don't know, streaky light effect. It's nothing super modern or amazing looking, um, but it's just kind of a little effect you can do with the smudge tool. Um, or as you can see here, I took another photo and I literally just painted over it in these big circular patterns with the smudge tool. Um, and you can kind of create these digital paintings with the smudge tool. So the smudge tool, you can, oh, and by the way, to create this painting, I used one of these like broken apart spray head looking brushes, but obviously you can load any brush you like into Photoshop. You can try something with, you know, crazy cracked glass patterns or um, dirt and scratches patterns or, you know, anything, some kind of vintage brush, whatever you like. You can use it all with the uh, smudge tool in Photoshop. So for the smudge tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.